Hey everyone, welcome back to my forest. I've got a buttload of wisp, as you can see, here. I'm gonna try to capture them all, but first, I wanted to say that I wanted to make a video debunking the wisp myth, but I need some opinions before I try to collect all that data. <laughs> In case you haven't heard what the myth is, it says that you can increase your chances of catching a wisp if you wait for it to be at like its lowest point or the slowest point, fastest, whatever, that you can actually increase your chances of catching a wisp based on its movement, essentially. I'll plug in my old video in the corner, like other YouTubers do, that hopefully explains this better. If I can figure out how to do that. <laughs> When I first heard this myth, um, it was shortly after I first started these videos, and I, nearly four years ago, actually, and I feel like it really affected my chances, especially in Starlight, which we don't talk about, but um, some people have flat out yelled at me for saying that there's a way to increase your chances, so... Um, that's why I want to do this video. Some people have said that it's all pre-programmed when we're going to catch enough wisp, so I want to test it. So who really knows who's right? So hopefully, by the end of this year, we will know. So my plan... So my plan is for the next three wisp events, so they happen every other month maybe, give or take, not quite sure anymore what Flutter's plan is for all this, but for three events of the Wisp events, I'm going to attempt to capture all of the Wisp, just all willy-nilly, every day, and keep track of how many flowers there are. Come on. Yeah, I'm going to use these two guys here every other day. Just attempt to capture, that way it's as random as possible. And then I'm going to take the total amount of the wisp for each color divided by the number of little baby flowers, the 1% ones that we get each day. So each day our chances will increase or decrease for each color depending on what it's programmed to do, if such thing exists. And then I'll repeat all this for three more events where I try to capture them at their lowest points. I can do other ones, like their slowest or fastest time, if people really want me to. But that's going to take a while to get all that data. So my theory is, if it is pre-programmed, we'll compare all these rates, and have the rate of capture for each color. And if it is pre-programmed, it should be the same regardless of how you caught it, right? And then if it's not, one way is going to be more favorited than the other, in theory anyways, because the attempt to capture is going to be very random. Some of these guys are going to be all over their cycles, so it doesn't... It's going to be hard to do. <laughs> so, that's the plan. I could do it every... I'm going to do them every other event, so I can get more and more data with each time, because this is going to take a long time. As I said, the Flutter has events every other month. They don't have February yet, so I don't know. They haven't had any lately, because they've been really favoriting their gardening events. It's probably going to take some... But I'm not sure. So yeah, what are your thoughts about this plan? Do you see any problems? Do you think it's going to work? I'm also going to upload the raw data for each time I try to capture them. So what I'm going to do for each day, roughly, so I've got a whole pack of them right here that hurry the mother wisp. So I can use these ones every other, every day. Just to try to, I'll try to figure out a good time that works for me and with the game to do it at the same time each time. But in, that shouldn't really matter, I'm not sure. I'm also going to repeat everything that I said 
on a new game. So in theory, we'll have two sets of data with probably different catching rates because I'm at like level 42,000 down here in my book. And a new one, I think, starts at zero. Maybe I'll see how far I can get it up for the next event. And then that way we have twice the amount of data to look at. And that's going to be... <laughs> that's going to be a lot of fun, actually. Wow. A lot of data that goes quick for that. But then I'm doing all this, so hopefully by next year we'll know for sure if it is possible to increase your chances of catching these guys. So now... We're going here, and I think you're ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Gonna attempt to capture. I have gone through and counted all of these wisps, hopefully. And how many flowers I got, all that. And see, what I'm going to do when she's ready in 49 minutes, I'm going to show an example of what I'm going to do. I've got... Mm, this one right here. Sends the mother wisp into a frenzy, so we'll get some more wisp in an hour or two. I've already used my hurriers today, that's why I have so many. This is at least two or three different times of using the wisp. I don't remember. I'm going to keep closer track, obviously, for the next six events. Oh my. I want to try to do at least three of each to get more data. But I'll do it every other time. That way I can upload those videos. Do like little mini videos together. And then I can make one grander video. That hopefully either proves or debunks. I have heard that I've only really noticed when you catch them at their lowest point. If you watch them close enough, they tend to have like they're pretty slow most of the time. Then they have like a quick movement. That could be one that we could test too. I don't know if this one's gonna do it. So I think that I think for blues that's what it was. I'll have to like really sit down and analyze all these. Cause even even when I first started, I wasn't too worried about the blue or the green. I wanted the gold one, you know, the possible egg laying one. So yeah, I'm going to attempt to capture all these guys. Yeah, see, oh. I feel like that broke my game. <laughs> okay, now that we have a clean slate, I'll upload another video showing the example. And then I'm also going to work on these guys right here. They're ready. They're ready. I have the final one. Um, Not here is it's my ability the final one is right down there as you can see i don't want to click on it because it's going to show what the ability is and i want to keep a surprise so yeah i'm going to go do those two videos and then yeah let me know what you think and thanks for watching i'll see you for the next video bye